Hello guys! It's been a minute since I've uploaded, but I moved, as you might be able to see in the background. So, today I'll be reviewing Royal Crown Sea Island. I have a decant of it here. I had some people ask me to show, you know, what I'm reviewing and see Royal Crown Sea Island. I got this from Decant X. Um, they have really, really good deals on men's, women, and unisex designer niche. Uh, they might have a few artisanal fragrances there as well. Um, but that aside, so the fragrance. This is a very briny marine fragrance in the vein of Salmarin by Healy. When I smell it, I instantly think of being secluded at a rocky beach. There aren't many fragrances like this. Even with the comparison to Salmarin, I find this fragrance to be of higher quality than that. In the top, the bergamot is, here is what ties it to Salmarin. In addition, there's also an algae note in both fragrances. Now, I believe I saw there's something like a kelp note or kelp accord in Sea Island as well. Um, but honestly, I haven't smelled that many kelp-based fragrances, so I'm not gonna give you, you know, a yes or no to that. I'm just gonna speak on what I know. Um, in addition to those, I'd wager there's almost like a soapy vibe in here as well. It's not one of those like overly powdery soapy vibes that you can kind of like prod alone or something like that. It's a little more of like a lemon verbena sort of soap, almost like a loxiton sort of soap if you've smelled that. Um, there isn't anything overwhelmingly like incredible about this fragrance or anything that's super, you know, wow about this. Have it on this hand. It's just, it's well made. I'm not a big fan of that soapy, powder, nah, it's not powdery, but soapy vibe. It's a little, it's a little bit mature for what I'm looking for. You know, I'm, you know, my lower mid twenties. I'm not really trying to smell like a bar of soap, um, but it is good. It's a high level marine scent. So it's naturally gonna fall in my wheelhouse. You know, I live down here in Florida. I like marine and aquatic and citrus based fragrances. So the other fragrance that I would compare this to would be Millicene Imperial by Creed. Um, and I have a bottle of that. I get the same salty accord in both these fragrances. Now, I prefer Millicene Imperial, and that is, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but the salt is pretty similar, I'd say, in both these fragrances. Um, I think, you know, overall, I think this is a good fragrance for the spring and summer. This replace, this is gonna be replacing or already has replaced Cell Marine in my summer list that will be coming up soon. Um, but if I'm being honest, I probably will not get a bottle of this. I think the Melissa Imperial is better. It fits my personality more. Um, and like I said, I already have a bottle of this. But if I do branch out for my like utilitarian way of collecting, maybe I'd pick up a bottle of this. Right now I only buy full bottles of fragrances that I love. Like for example, if I have, you know, 10 aromatic six aquatic fragrances on my summer list, which I don't, but there's 10 that I like give a nine, 9.5 to, but there's only one I give a 10 to, I'm gonna pick that 10 and not buy bottles of the nine and 9.5s. Does that make any sense? And I'll go over this in my collection video that'll be coming out soon as well. Um, but for today, this is what I'm talking about and this is what I'm giving to you. So have a great rest of your day. If I had to give this a rating, um, honestly didn't think of a rating yet, but I, I'd give it a, I'd give it a 9.25. We'll start doing ratings in 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and you know, integer, <laughs> integer based ratings. So 9.25 on this. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.